What's up everyone? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and I am back. Today I'm going to be doing a reaction and trailer breakdown to the new Game of Thrones Season 8 trailer. Now, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. I read the books when they came out. I've read them multiple times. I've listened to the audiobooks. I did that a lot when I was in college and drawing and whatnot. So I'm really looking forward to this, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to give away too much just because I've noticed that sometimes if when you read the books of course they're going to be different than the TV show which is what we've seen in this TV show yes I am going to be very expressive on characters that I do not like I know last time I did this people freaked out because I said I do not like Sansa can't stand Sansa in the book she's completely different than in the TV show which I probably will say a lot, but there's some things that I think that are going to get revealed in the TV show just based on what they've shown previously that they've alluded to in the books. So I don't want to ruin that aspect if you haven't figured this out yet or not. But just be warned, I do tend to give spoilers unintentionally when I'm doing videos. So I apologize if I do spoil anything for you, but I really want to watch this, so let's get into this. All right, and I might have to pause it every now and again just to uh, make sure I don't get any copyright claims. Also, I know the volume is going to be a little bit of a problem, but that has to do with the fact that my speakers from my computer suck, and they make this screechy noise, so if you hear that, I apologize. All right, let's do this. Hi. Oh my god, what's going on? Who's in Winterfell? I'm going to die. <sighs> Okay. I look forward to seeing this one. Ah, so close. Everything you did wouldn't let you all that. Where you belong. I hate you, Sansa. They're coming. Our enemy doesn't tire. Oh, she loves him. Doesn't stop. Doesn't feel. She's drinking, but she's pregnant. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No! Oh my god, no, I don't want it to end. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna go back through this because I, I, I need to go look at certain scenes. Okay, I did like this little bit with Sansa. I, I know people get annoyed when I talk too much during trailers, so that's why I decided I'm going to, you know, kind of, you'll see my initial reaction, but I'll go back through and break down so I can talk more. But look, just look at that face. Could you imagine just being in this world where dragons used to exist and they didn't, now all of a sudden they're back and you're finally seeing them? I mean, come on! I'd be freaking out if I was on Winterfell and all of a sudden there's dragons. Oh, that's so cool! Okay, so this, th this is cool. This is like wow like just that complete wonder on her face like i i do think sophie is a great actress i really just don't like the character of sansa it's nothing against sophie i just don't like sansa but ah uh, like just look at this shot i mean if you've taken a film class or like any kind of art class it's all about composition so it's like even though sansa is slightly off center and that's because i'm in the middle of a, a screen shot so it's like, just look, look at these lines, and hopefully you guys can see this with my mouth, like, in my mouth, my mouth, like, it's, she's, she's on this part of the castle, she's in the foreground, dragons coming, she's looking on into wonder, so it's like, it's not a bad thing that these dragons are here, it's good, which we all know, but I mean, just visual storytelling, ugh, that's one of the best things about Game of Thrones is every single shot is so perfectly thought out. 
Uh, and then Danny and John, she's not on the dragon. They're walking together. That's so cute. All right. Or Cersei. Oh, Cersei. I, her costume. Oh, my gosh. I don't. I probably is more ahead. But this looks cool. Not going to lie. Everything in this looks so cool. I don't know who this kid is. I got, made me a Rickon. Ah, oh, but look at her costume design. I like how even now... Uh, if you go and you can watch uh, people that actually do complete costume breakdowns and how they talk about the way that Danny's costume changes through each season, even the way Cersei's costume, and people are commenting, oh, why isn't Cersei's hair, like, grown out? Maybe now she's just keeping it short. She's not letting it grow out because, you know, she left that, you know, side behind her. Now she's doing this. She's, you know, being the queen and she's finally getting doing everything that she could have gotten if she was born a boy so I think she's more embracing that like I'm edgy type of thing and then they've even brought in uh, people that do really good breakdowns of Game of Thrones uh, you, you can see the maids even the maids they are now having pixie cuts because they're you know trying to you know do what's in style the queen has a pixie cut let's all the maids have pixie cut and you can go back if you actually watch uh some of the seasons it's really subtle the way they do things with costumes so she her biggest threat right now is daenerys targaryen we even know that based on what they talked about in that prophecy that she was told by the witch oh you know you're gonna have you know three children and all this yada yada but there's gonna be a younger more beautiful queen that's gonna come and take you know your place so now look at the way that she has like these shoulder pads it's kind of like scales even uh this little part of her dress it looks like now she's it, in a way this kind of looks like uh when people go hunting and they have you know the pelts up it kind of looks like that so maybe she's even trying to you know emulate a lion but this kind of reminds me of how now she's up against Daenerys and so she's got to have her armor on and that's very Cersei she always has you know that extra trick up her sleeve which gets her out of trouble because she's a very intelligent woman she's a very dangerous enemy to have and now you know she's made everyone her enemy even Jamie isn't with her anymore so this is going to be a very very dangerous season because Cersei has absolutely nothing to lose she has a baby but and we saw how she wasn't drinking wine uh, and that's one of the things that made Tyrion go oh you're pregnant but we see her later in this trailer drinking so maybe the pregnancy is fake but we all we know is based on the prophecy that was told to Cersei she is only having three children she's not having another one all right, we'll go back through this. All right, we're in the crypt. Okay, them and kissing. I was actually very happy because I was rooting for them. Jamie, I like Jamie a lot. I like his character arc. Like, once you go back and watch the first season, it's like, oh, I hate that guy. But you just, just how humble he got after he lost his hand and he has a completely different perspective. I really like that they've done a good job of showing his character arc. So I'm excited to see. Let's, like, <sighs> okay, see, she's drinking again. She's and she, she kind of looked like she something happened. She's got that very Cersei face. The dragons! The dragons! Oh, look at Arya's. I feel like that Arya's seeing the dragon. Arya's Jean. Jamie, I promised to fight. Okay, so that's for the next scene. But that's my face. Like, if I saw a dragon, I'd probably be freaking out, though. But maybe I'd just be in complete shock. Like, oh, there's dragons. But look at that. Look at... I mean... That's not a shock of, you know, dread. That's a shock of, like, joy. Yes. Because this is, it's finally coming. We're finally getting, you know, John and Daenerys together. The dragons are here. The White Walkers are coming. Everyone knows about them now. It's coming down to this. It's going to be what John is saying throughout this entire trailer. Uh, what everyone is saying throughout this entire trailer. It's the living versus the dead. Cersei's going to try to backstab everyone. We already know that that's probably going to get taken care of. There's going to be a lot of blood because this is the final season. And this is, I feel like, the perfect example of all of us that have been waiting for this. We're just in complete awe, and we're so excited for this to happen. Yes! Ugh! Look, look at how much John has grown. He's now like Ned, and I know Ned's not technically his father, but he was his father. You can hold, use the whole Yondu thing, you know. He might have been your dad, but he's not your daddy, uh, so look just I mean if I could pull up a shot of Ned from episode one season one and just look at how much John has grown to become like the good man that Ned Stark was and it's it's just amazing and uh, I'm gonna keep saying this just every single shot of this show is art 
beautiful. I said to keep that <sighs> Jamie! Ah! Where are they? Who did they eat? Did they just eat all of the sheep? They eat all the sheep! Oh, it doesn't look like any people or it doesn't look like any human bones. So got the two dragons and the two dragon riders. Unfortunately, uh, Tyrion will not get his dragon because it died. Unless they have some kind of special power to bring back dragons. Sansa looks upset because it's Sansa. I feel like something dramatic is going to happen to be like, oh, some fate thing. Maybe she doesn't like Danny. I like how she has makeup on here. Because they've been really good about none of the actresses wearing makeup. But Sansa definitely has uh, some makeup on in this shot. Well, I mean, they have, like, you know, the natural fine makeup. But she's got some mascara. Which is something that I really admired when they uh, do Sansa. Or, you know, when they do her makeup. Because they make it, obviously, all... All the actors have makeup on, even if it doesn't look like it. They're all got full faces of damn makeup on. But I think they do a really good job on the women and making them look very natural. And, I mean, you can go look at them. It does. It looks very natural. But right here, this, she got some makeups on her eyes. I see it. <sighs> Tyrion! And for those that are going to ask, Tyrion is my favorite character. Like Just all oh, this epicness. Brienne is gonna kick ass. I'm so excited. Jorah! Ah! I am so, so excited. This is going to be so epic. I cannot wait to watch this. And I've talked to other channels. I did not know that Jessie from Mindless Entertainment was as into Game of Thrones as she was. We did a live stream last night where we talked about it. Gary from Nerdrotic has invited me to do streams. Uh, he's doing streams after every episode. He invited me to come on. I will be there every time that I can make it unless I have something going on with uh, my family. But I am so excited for Game of Thrones. This is going to be epic. I am so in pain. That this is going to be the last season because I, I feel like they should have milked it out. Like, they didn't even touch on Lady Stoneheart. They don't even go into how all of the, you know, Stark children are wargs. They can all go into their wolves. It's not just Bran. It's every single one of them. All the dramatic stuff that happens between Arya and Nymeria and her having her wolf dreams. Even Jon has his wolf dreams where he goes into ghosts. Like, they could have done so much. Apparently, in the books... There's a lot of other stuff that happened, but they're not going to go with it, which I'm like, if you wanted to make the monies and people like Game of Thrones, you could have milked it, but you didn't. But I'm excited to see what they do. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay too. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, that'd be awesome. Make sure you click that little bell. That way you get notifications when I do live streams and when I put out other videos because people tend to like them. My puppy... Uh, Tulip is usually in my live streams with me, and people uh, really like to see her. She's a little, uh, she's a little excited. She's happy right now. So everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye. Say bye, Tulip. Bye, Tulip. Hey everyone, after being asked for months now, I finally got a P.O. box, so if you want to send me some mail, go ahead and send it to Anna, that Star Wars girl, or TSWG for short, at P.O. box number 28171, Santa Ana, California, 92799-8171. Thank you, have a great day guys!